Okay, welcome back for this uh, next part. I'm just digging out all this tin while Dave is still attempting to get his pickaxe. Lots of fun there. Found loads and loads of tin, so we'll be able to try this lots of times. And it'll be good, because I'll have something to demonstrate in the bloomery once we get out. Ooh, got to check the charcoal. <laughs> got to keep checking the charcoal. Nope, still there. I can see the wood. Cool. Now, what I was actually trying to do is dig through here and find where that spider noise is coming from. So I'm going to keep on going. In fact, let me look from the other side, see if I can see something. I'll put a waypoint up here first. I'll call it something intelligible. And I'll go around the other side and have a look, because I think they'll all be dead now. Oh, let's grab some javelins. Javelins? That'll do. Yeah, let's have them in reserve as well, actually. Any joy on the pick? Um, so, draw, bend, punch. Ah, here we go. Oh, cool. I did cause a major cave in this end. Got it. Oh, you got it, have you? Sweet. Um, I don't know how to, uh, I need a, a thingy to it. Uh, durability's a bit of crap, because I... Yeah, no worries, I screw up quite a lot of them. But, um... Yeah, that's good news. So I mean, though, smithing's kind of like an art form. Yeah. <laughs> just need to get it all just right. Oh, I've run out of, run out of bloody sticks. I mean, uh, torches. You got any on you? Mm, of course, nope. a major cave in around here. You nicked all the ones I've in the fire pit. So it's yeah, I've got, I got a bunch of <laughs> sticks on me. So that's, oh, that would be where the spider was. Where have you gone? Oh, I'm in the cave next door. Alright, at what point did you start digging through to the cave next door? Hang on, I can dig through from this side. So we'll have a way through in the dark. But we'll have a doorway so we'll be able to explore this cave during the night. Can you see my name plate? There we go. Yeah, I'd already put a waypoint there, don't worry. Ah, uh, Okay. Cool. Is it worth, worth sticking the door there? Yes, no. it is. <laughs> Don't you pay any attention to what I'm saying? No. I already said I was going to stick a door there, you muppet. Charcoal pit, How do I get that? my pickaxe head into a proper pickaxe, then? Oh, what you do, right? Oh, I think the charcoal pit's finished. What you do is you grab a stick and put it on the stick. No, yes, we have it. charcoal. We have 36 charcoal. That's enough to be going on. You want to craft this thing, or do you want me to? Uh, you can for a minute. So the way you've done your charcoal pit, did you say it all just... Yeah, it just drops you? the charcoal on the floor. Okay, we Drop have a bloomery those. block. There we go. So if I go and put that here... Ta-da! We have a bloomery. And it has the ore out of kilograms, coal out of kilograms, and output. The maximum when you've got a charcoal... Uh, when you've got a bloomery this size is 90 kilograms of ore, 90 kilograms of charcoal. It does say coal there, but it means charcoal. Coal will not work on this. So now I've got a bunch of casserite I need to smelt up. So what we need next is a load more uh, clay moulds. So if I persuade Dave to do all of that. You got enough of both pits, Dave? You got any wood on you? Uh, yeah, I've got some more wood. Cool, as does I. Right, I'll go out and collect some more clay as well, because we're going to need a lot of these moulds. There you go. Cool. I think we'll um, only need three. Uh, have you got a stick for my pickaxe, by the way? Hang on. There's a creeper right here. Got him. Cool. Yeah, gunpowder still drops from these mobs, and we'll be able to use that TNT stuff later on. Where are you? Stick. There you go. Yeah. Cool. Uh, what was I coming out here to get? I needed something urgently. Uh, I don't clay. Know. Is this something to do with your boomery? Yeah, lots of clay. I need lots of clay so you can melt more. Um, did you pick yeah. up all the ones I threw at you? Yeah, I've got nine here at the moment. Excellent. Right. Doesn't look like there's any clay around here, so I'm going to have to go wandering for that. Although, screw it, nine will be ample. Let's grab some more, uh, what do you call them, saplings. I think I'm going to try and get at least one sapling off of each tree before I cut them down. Later on, you get an item called a sai, you know, like scythe, sai, whatever you pronounce it as, um, like you get for farming. But its primary use at the moment is if you attack 
a leaf with it, it will cut out a 3x3x3 um, three by three by three around that leaf, so you can use it to trim tree leaves very quickly. Yeah. How are you doing? You smelting them up nicely? Yeah, um, I just need to talk to you offline in a second. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, we've got a couple of moulds. What I'm going to do is I can smelt up the main casserite or with the smaller casserite as well. Now, I don't know if you want to do this or me, Dave. You, you need to what? Mould the casserite? Sorry? What do you need to do, sorry? Uh, smelt them in the bloomery. Oh, right, okay. Oh, you can do that as well. Okay, cool. You carry on now. I'll show the audience. Right, what you do is basically... Something's coming in the door. That is very loud. <laughs> Let me go kill that thing a second. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? There he is. Sorry mate, you were too noisy, you need to die. Cool. Right, out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. What have you done? Uh nothing. Use an axe on him. No, my axe isn't in my hand. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Right, where was I? Bloomery. So you throw the items in the top and I've thrown one in and it shows all 4.5 kilograms which is how much you get per normal ore so if I just chuck the whole load of them in, the whole load of them in, it all counts as casserite because it's all the same type, so I've got 54 kilograms there what I need to do now, obviously I'll need to keep ceramic moulds in there but I'll leave them out for now um, right, I need to chuck charcoal in and that will start it heating, I only need the same amount of charcoal as I've got tin so let's see how much that is 49, so I need one or two more. Okay. Cool, yep, gone a bit over there. And it is heating up. It doesn't start heating up until you've got the same amount of coal as or this balancing act that you need to work on there. But what you can do is have a hammer at that, but I'll show you in a sec. Have you got any more of these ready, by the way? I'll take that. Yeah, I've got a couple. Cool. Now, you wait until this gets to its hottest point. And I'll show you the joys of the um, uh, bellows. Joys of the bellows. Oh, I've already got output. This stuff smelts well quickly. Okay, so you put the ceramic mould in there and it takes two kilograms worth. So you've got another two kilograms there, another two kilograms there, and you've got a half filled mould there. So now we have that, and that is done. So out of that ore, we got three bars, three and a bit bars. So I could put this other one over here somewhere, and we can fill it up later. What I'm going to do now, well, still not anywhere near enough for an anvil. Chuck us a um, hammerhead, would you? Hammer? Ah, uh, yeah, you can have that one. Cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to hammer them into bars and leave them to it for a bit. Because we can't use it. We can use them to make tools, but um, really we need an anvil at some point. So for that, I will have to show the process in a bit, because we also need flux and stuff like that. I really hate having this kind of anvil. Although, what other tools can we have? We've got the chisel somewhere, Dave's nicked that. We've got a pickaxe each. We could go for a shovel, but we might as well use stone shovels, because it's an yeah. unlimited resource at the moment. Yeah. Cool. Can't really think of much else we need now, apart from finding lots of metal. I'll show off the pro picks later on, prospecting picks, once we've got a lot more resources. Although they may help us locate some. In general, they're more hassle than they're worth. Come on, cool down you lot. I need one of you to be non-liquid so I can hammer you straight away. And then it's just a race to get all of them done before they cool down too far. Guess we could make more pickaxe heads, we're probably going to need them. But not yet. Need more torches. Any chance you can uh, work on that? More torches? Yeah, we're going to need millions. Yeah. Let's go exploring that other cave and see if we can find some ore sat around in the roof. Because that is going to be our primary concern right now, getting lots and lots of ore, as it is on most things. Seeing as we've got a decent shelter here, we don't need anything else. <laughs> come on, come on, cool down, you bastards. 
I should chuck us the sticks because this one's unused. Or are you going to start using it? Oh, wow. Uh Oh, yeah. No, 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 I don't need it. Hold on, let me just, uh... Do you need a stick if I say that you can use it? Well, have you got any wood on you? Um, I've only got five planks left now. Oh, I've got a bit. Come on, chuck them over then. No, I mean the sticks. Uh, da -da -da -da, don't have them. Okay. Just give me something to do while I'm waiting for this stuff to cool down. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to miss it. Ideally, I want to be in the anvil while it's while they're cool enough. Oh, they're almost very hot. Okay. Cool. Come on, oh. what are you? Yeah, very hot four stars. This liquid, very hot three stars. We'll try and work out the melting point here. It won't be difficult. Very hot two stars, still liquid. What were you owing about? Uh, I'm out of wood now. I need to grab some more. Here you go. Very hot one star, still liquid. So very hot is when it turns from liquid to uh, solid then. Bear that in mind. Or not. It's on very hot now and it's still liquid. Oh yeah, there we go. Halfway through very hot it turns into solid. So don't ever heat it to very hot, otherwise it'll melt. Oops, pressing too many buttons there. There we go, we have three tin ingots now. Let's bear that in mind. Put it somewhere safe. Now we could smelt up these as well if we want. Copper we can't use for a while, but we've got plenty around. We've got loads hanging out on the cliffs. Bisphemus, bisphu, bis, move for no biz we can keep around. Right, we've got a bunch of torches. Um, Let's use up half of the rest of the sticks on them. Go for a few more. And let's go exploring after that and hope we find some ores. You up for that? Can do. I'll take that as a maybe. Sounds so uh -huh. enthusiastic at the moment. Wake up. <laughs> well, I'm just watching this clay mold. It is very intriguing, isn't it? How many you got in there anyway? I only gave you a few, didn't I? Um, well, I'm burn burning the last one up now. Alright, cool. Okay, and then we can go wandering. I really want to explore that other pit, that other uh, cave. How come you took the wood out? Uh, there I've we go, done. My, yeah, I've just done my cool. last mold there. Oops. Alright, chuck them in the box and we'll go exploring. Let's go find us some more. I mean, a chesty box. Well, yeah. Yeah, dump all your valuables. Let's go have some fun. Um, I need some more. Ch what have you done with all the other chests? Chests. Yeah, we had like we had more than just four. Yeah, they're in the top one, aren't they? There you oh. go. There's seven in the top chest. Okay. Silly boy. I was going to move them into the main room. Um. There's not really a decent wall to put them on though, is there? No. Here we go. Let's dig out this area. God, this stuff takes a long time to dig. Yeah, let's do a general wall like so. Cool. Let's just not go any further back that way, because that's dirt and whatnot. So, outside world. Oh, are you going to play some then? Stop slacking. Oh. Where, where am I placing them, sorry? Uh, place a few along the bottom there, a few along here, a few up here if you want. I assume you need them at the moment. Yeah. Come on, let's go exploring. I'm going to stump all my stuff that I don't need. Right you no, know I could make, I could make a tin sword. That takes two ingots. There's a spider outside who wants to talk to you. Yeah, well, I'm not in the mood to talk to spiders right now. Oof. Oh, I might need, might need those. Get rid of those, I need those. Just various tools and things. Now, 
Got a native copper nugget in there. Come on, time's a wasting. There's copper up here. Um, up here, in this one. No, there isn't. Where have you moved it to? There, bottom right, uh, bottom chest. There's copper. There's big copper and there's small copper. Oh. You put it in there? Uh, let's let's just go exploring. I'm gonna be here all day otherwise. Everything needs to be placed specifically right. There we go. Oh, that did right. cause a bit of a major rock fall here, didn't I? Let's break that one down and go through there. Keep an eye on the ceiling in case you find something nice. Yeah, all that cobble over there is from rock fall that I caused. Uh -huh. Nothing around here. Maybe we do need a pro pick, because I'm sure there's some behind the walls, because I found one while digging through to this cave. Yeah. Oh. Get your uh, thing ready. My what ready? Javelin. Oh, okay. Javelin. That's right in the way. Yep, yep, yep. Stop knocking me! It's not on purpose, I'm just trying to have a look around. Okay, yeah, there's nothing up here, it's just rock fall. Alright, that's fine. Actually, I'll leave that there to stop them spawning. We might be able to use this cave. <laughs> anyway. Nothing special around here. Is that the whole cave explored? That's disappointing. Ow. Did I leave my other one up there on him? Oh, creep around the pit. Ah oh, yes, there we go, there's another place up there we can explore. Um, best way, this way. Ah, so you sort of digging into the wall doesn't cause cave-in then? Not always. No. Oops. You're just going to watch, are you? Yeah, it's not like I have a pickaxe. Oh wait, I do have a pickaxe. Yeah, it's, you're digging a one column thing, aren't you? So. You got any torches? This leads outside. Uh, not yet. There's a very big drop. I'll tell you what, let's put my brightness up for the uh, sake of the audience. Ah! Dear Where the hell did that creeper come from? Oh dear. <laughs> I can't leave you alone for five minutes. It's, it's right at the entrance of our. Um, I'll tell you what, this isn't outside. This is actually a massive cave. Yeah. Sweet. Definitely need more torches for that. Right at the entrance of what? Did you break our door? Yeah. No, the creeper broke it. He's right where okay. the door was. Right behind the door. That's right. Like, blame how, how the bloody creepers. There? Blame the bloody creepers every oh, yeah. time. You know, it's their fault. Oh god, I caused another rock fall round here, did I? That was a major one I triggered. <laughs> went for miles. It's the problem, one triggers another, triggers another. Any time a rock updates, they all fall. Yeah. Let's see if we can see any ore up there, though. There's one good thing about it, it shifts a lot of rock for you. Yeah. It's all dirt. Huh. 
Oh wells. So, I guess next thing we need to do is start on a mine. I'm sure people don't want to see that. That's poor. Right, um, what I've decided then is I am going to show off the prospector's pick. And for that I'm going to need to do some heating up of this. Um, can you babysit that a sec for me? Uh, stick a um, mould under it. Oh, there's a mould here, so that's fine. When did you get all that casserite? Oh, I've, I've had it for a few thousand years. You might have mentioned, I would have put it in the bloody bloomery. Ooh. Um, right. I need to do uh, another ink sack, another bit of paper. Yeah, just keep it going. Make sure it gets not very hot. And then change it, uh, take it out. This oh, paper. goodness gracious me. Interesting. Yeah, right, paper, 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 paper. Okay, so we've got paper. Right, the plan for the prospector's pick is like this. There we go, prospector's pick. Where's the bar? Where's the bar? Oh, phew. I thought I'm you still, broke I'm it. No, no, I'm still heating it. Okay, good, good. Where's my hammer? Hot two stars. There's my hammer, and there's my prospector's pick recipe. Let's just put that crap back in there. Hot stars. Alright, uh, what you do is throw it to me when it's ready, because I'll be in the in the anvil interface. Okay, oh, hold on a minute. I, I can get it very hot and then throw it to you. Yeah, be very, very careful though, because past very hot it melts. It's halfway through very hot. Oh, here comes. Um, you're not picking it up. I threw it at you and you're not picking it up. Okay, that's not good. Um, it's hot four stars, I might still have time. Cool. For prospector's pick, I need it to be... Okay, so I need to draw, bend, punch. Right, so I'm going to need... Oh, it's already cooled down too much. Typical. So you can't work in tandem on these because you can't have somebody throw stuff at you. We're going to need more wood. Where'd you go? Yeah, um, yeah, there you go. Right. Hot, 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 and very hot. Okay, so put that there, put that there. Whoops, crap. Now I've dropped that. Oh no, I picked it up again. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> so shrink, right. So I'm going to need draw, bend, punch. There we go, prospectors pick, head. Thank Christ. These things are so annoying. Right, put that there and put that there and we've got a stick one. Right, with the prospectors pick, what you do is you right click on a surface and it will give you an incl an indication if there's anything there. Look at that, medium sample of casserite, large sample of casserite. Problem is, it's so bloody difficult to use because... Here you go, I'll let you try for a bit. Because yeah. what it does is it scans an area, I believe it's 40 by 40 by 12, and that's all around you, that's not in front of you. Where are you going? What are you doing? I'm looking around, found nothing of interest. What? Every wall I tried had large amounts of casserite. Nothing of interest. Fuck you now. Found traces of casserite. So to be fair, you just have to keep pointing around at various places. And yeah, 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 yeah. But come over here. Point at this wall. Found a large sample of casserite. Yeah, but that could be above, below, or it could be that casserite directly above me. I can see now. How have I missed that for so long? All right, we got any more um, supports? Because I'm going to need to dig that out, and that will be fatal. Yep, I've got some. You have, have you? Okay, that might work. Cool. Uh, I'm going to need to be supporting right next to it, though, so... Didn't think this through, did I? Going to need more. Uh, vertical support, axe... Cool, sorted. Uh, one there. Uh, I need dirt. need more dirt. Okay, and then a bit of horizontal. There we go. Now let's see what we can get from here. Where are you going? Getting some more wood. Cool. Okay, so that's one piece of cast, right? That's bloody great. That is. Unless there's more up and nearby. Mm. 
This is the problem. What they did in the last update to the world code, what Biox did, is he, for the benefit of us all, let's say, he uh, decided to change the terrain generation so that the smaller tier north ores generated all over the surface but in very small quantities. So it basically means if you find some you're not going to be finding enough, but it means you will find find it, basically. Uh, need a metal anvil before we can start using that copper, otherwise we could go straight up to bronze. Do you still get saplings from uh, leaves, or do you have to yes. cut the tree down? Haven't you had any before? I've had loads. No, you need you get them from leaves. No, because I think I might have... Oh, no. Oh, no, to be fair, I don't know what a willow tree looks like. I thought I found a willow tree, but it's not. It's cedar. Cedar. Cedar, cedar. Cedar. Oh, this might be a willow tree, though. Oh, what kind of the trunk of a willow tree? Is it grey? Oh, you still black? got the pro pick on you. Yeah, I've got no idea what colour the trunk is. It's light, I believe, but the main feature is it's got lots of branches. Uh -huh. Come see where you've run off to. Because if it is a willow tree, it's the answer to all our prayers. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Hickory, what? Oh, sycamore was the last one I did. Would yeah, you want your pro yeah. picks? Yeah, prospect pick. Okay, okay. Cool. Although I am tempted, we should really go looking for Willow, although I can't see any on the map. It's obvious on the map, because they are a lot bigger from above. Alright. Keep a nice supply of eggs if we keep all these chickens alive. Well, I get the feeling it's getting dark. Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? Okay, back to bed and then back to watch it. Right, let's see what we can find tree-wise then. When did I get that casserite? Uh, one second. Okay. Sorry about that short delay. Monitor problems. Not that it was a delay for you guys. Chaz. I just don't hear it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Delay? What delay? I've been here the whole time. Where have you been? Oh, I think I can see a willow tree on the horizon. On the map. Cool. You want to come see one? Yeah, uh... Where where boots are, yeah. I went through under the arch. Why did you? Strange, because I got Optifine, but it won't let me zoom in with this mod. It's a shame. Uh. What? Um. Let's just say there's a scary nearby. I'm running away. Hurry up. I have no idea where you are. Did you give me coordinates? I went under an arch. There's one big arch right outside our house. Yeah. Massive arch. Oh, I'm to your left, you idiot. <laughs> Where are you? Silly boy. Didn't even think you'd left home yet. Yeah, I was just around the other side of the leading mountain. Okay. So I'm just prospecting, kind of. See if there's any other nice ores around here. So you see a willow tree on the map, do you? It does indeed. Let's see if I can guess where it is. So I'll just pick up one. No, I didn't. The, is that it? That might be it. The one covered in creepers. Get your spears at the ready. Javelins, whatever. Oh, and a zombie. And a skeleton. This place is popular. Ooh, two skeletons make that. Okay, I'll wait back here. You have fun. Oh, I shot my only javelin. You've only got one on you. I've got six, five, four. Gotcha. Any more? Okay, oh yep, there is more. Remember you can melee them as well. Yeah. Right, right now. Give me about my javelins. You could, no wonder you got so many, you've been nicking all of mine. There you go. Let's see if this is in fact Willow. 
Oh, I see. It's got loads of that. Isn't it? Yeah, loads and loads of branches. I think it's willow. I hope it's willow. Good thing about willow trees, especially once you've got a scythe, is uh, for every one that spawns, you can get like a dozen saplings. Oh, got a sapling. It's ash! That can't be right. Damn thing. Let's try sure again. I was going to say, you sure it hasn't been sort of uh, merged with another tree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having a look. Oh, there's something there. Uh, this is an ash tree, Mikey boy. Damn. Let me check the map. Mm. There you go. Oh, there's a lot of wood, though. <laughs> well, of course there is. Donkey. I don't think ash grows as fast as willow. It may be good, but it may not be as good. Um, right, let's keep exploring. I'm very low on food. Here we go. Let's have a look around. That might be one in that direction. <coughs> Do you want some pumpkins? I'm content with that one. Actually, with axes to work on pumpkins well, doesn't it? Yep. Come on, we can use them for scary lighting. I'll take them. Whoa, whoa what the hell just happened? I just what? fell through a leaf. Yeah. You can walk through leaves on this mod. Alright. Oh, Did I not mention that? No. Well, I have now. You mean you can walk through tree, uh, le trees? Leaves? Sorry, your surprise was distracted by your idiocy. Shut up. I'll show you idiocy in a minute. Oh, Wait, I already no. have. I was going to put him out of his misery, but he wandered off. Mm. Oops. Is there any way to count? After, after you start throwing a javelin, is there any way to cancel it other than throwing it? Yeah, scroll to another item. Um. Aha! That looks promising. Oh, yes, that's Willow. That's definitely let see, Willow. Let me see, let me see, let me see. <laughs> you can tell oh, really? because they got vines. Actually, look behind you. Those mountains look bloody awesome. There's a big old cave at the top. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should move again. That's the problem, though. You spend most of this time moving between. Do you need any more sugar cane, by the way? No. We got plenty. Actually, yes, come to think of it, because I didn't plant the others. I turned it all straight into paper. Yeah, grab them up. Uh, my. Uh. I'm like massively lagging here for some reason. Why? What have you done? I only broke a sugarcane plant. I didn't think you needed that much memory to process a destroying sugarcane. Well, I don't know. I think you need quite a bit for that. There you go. I've it all up now. Die, willow tree. Die. One problem with willow is, because of all the vines that hang off of the damn things, you get this really annoying problem where it doesn't always recognise that you've destroyed the branches when you've destroyed the... Uh, when you break down the actual tree, it leaves vines hanging in the air, basically, sometimes. Do they dissipate over time, or...? Nope. They sit there forever and drive you nuts. Apart from that, it's all good. Plus, if you build them near buildings, you start you getting know, vines attached to buildings. I'll take, I'll take it down. I've got two saplings, but I need a lot more. Go on. Do the whole thing. Grab as many as you can get. I mean, we're likely to get a dozen saplings from each tree back home, so one sapling should be enough, but I just want to make certain. Because we, we need a lot of charcoal. can't believe you got all that ore and you didn't mention it to me. I'll show you ore in a minute. You got any more? No. Saplings? Oh, saplings, yeah, I've got, I've got a couple. Let me put it on my main screen. I've got four willow saplings at the moment. What do you mean your main screen? You've only got one screen. Alright, four's enough. Stand back. <laughs> Just rains, um, rains wood. Cool, how much inventory space you got? Let's cut down a couple more and keep them for another, uh, another pit. Oh, and sometimes, ever so occasionally, you'll get one that doesn't cut down properly, where it leaves a couple of blocks behind. Because mm. it's diagonal the way some of the branches grow. See what I mean? There's a hovering one over there. Yeah. Won't run out of space, what don't I need? Don't need bones, because they can't be used for anything in-game. Well, they can. 
you can use them to make tools, but um, instead of sticks, oops, lagged a bit there, but they're not really that essential. No, right, no, no. home we go, 300 meters in this direction. But that's okay, because we can slash her, oh wait, no, we can't. I missed Bucket. Yeah. Shoot oh, all over the place, yeah. Well, this is an authentic server. Proper isn't it? vanilla server. What is going on with the biomes here? Some weird shit happening. Oh well. Bear in mind there's desert nearby, and part of the map's still trying to load over this direction. Desert we will need later on. Actually, if you've got any inventory. Ooh. If you've got any inventory space, you can go grab a load of sand that we can use for glass later on. Um, I've got. Four or five slots left. No, dude, just grab half a stack of sand while I investigate this. Okay. Oh, it's getting dark. I know. Better grab it quick. Oh, it's Cassarite. Cool. See, this stuff's just lying all over the place. It's beautiful. Just walk around and be able to see it on the surface. Oh, that's lovely stuff. 30, 32 bits of sand, right? If you want, yeah. Just keep on digging. Just keep digging, just keep digging. That's pretty much the name of this mod, just keep digging, because there's so much digging to do later on. Oh, I've got a small caster right there as well, so I guess I did find one earlier. What can I do without ash sapling? I've, I've run out of uh, a spade. I've probably wanted to get another one. And I'm 340 metres away and it's getting dark, so I'm going to go home now. Fine. Yep, and I've run out of this ore vein, so that's good. Oh, I say that, I found some more. Uh, I may be here a while. I'll teleport to you. <laughs> the joys of being an admin on your own server is you can teleport to other people. Oh shit, Creeper. I mean, no, oh you're crap. Not yeah. allowed to die because I need to teleport to you. Well, uh, there's a lot of uh, angries over there. I'm just going to go this way. Ow, ow. Silly boy. Don't need a raw chicken. Getting lots of ore here. Ooh. Oh my god, this, 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 this was a very bad <laughs> idea, I hate you. I definitely should have got some more torches, because this place is just crawling with ore. Um, I think I'll that's all of it now, though. Oh, my screen's just froze. Really? Yeah, oh, there we go. I'm, 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 I seem to be back now. Stop whinging, you're still alive, aren't you? Barely. Good. That's a yes. And I've run out of ore. I Can't die, find I die, 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 I die. Why aren't you dead yet? Oh shit, I've run out of ore. <laughs> now then, let's see if I can get home so, safely. Oh, oh stop freezing, damn it. <sighs> Interesting. You know what? What? Sc screw you, creepers. Screw you all. <laughs> Why is creepers just the, the, the high point of mob spawning? Seriously. Having the foggiest. Well, I've managed to make it home. Do you want to teleport? How the fuck did you get there before I did? I walked in a straight line. You couldn't have done. There's a large uh, mountain. This mountain in the way. I was almost home. Damn it! Well, now you are home, silly boy. Let's go dump all this rubbish. I've got loads of crates here. Remember? I know. There's loads of crates everywhere. Do you want to do the honors on smelting up some more? If I remember, yeah. How are we doing, video time wise? Let me check. Yeah, 39 minutes, so uh, we'll leave all this smelting until next time, I think. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in a bit.